Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of mine. This time I'm here with a new series. I haven't done a reaction to Young Royals yet. I wasn't a YouTuber back then so I wasn't doing any reaction to it. So considering the fact that I love this show so much, I was like I may not have reacted to the first and second season but i'm gonna react to this one if you guys want a reaction of season one and season two you can tell me in the comments below but now i'm actually so intrigued it's been i think over a year since we are were re waiting for this and the fact that they are actually completely closing the show with season three is actually criminal because i like the messages that they put out there the struggle of coming out the desire of just wanting to be who you want to be but you have the feeling that no matter how hard you try to be yourself there's always someone that is trying to tell you that you can't be because you have to care about other people's opinions and i loved that wilhelm was the first guy that was like no i don't care about the monarchy I only care about my feelings and my feelings are telling me that I can't do this in general like him being the future king and him in general just living normally. He can't do that if he doesn't have Simon around. So he was like at that conference, I'm sorry mama, I know you told me that I shouldn't expose who I truly am until I'm 18. I have different opinions about the mom but in the first place considering the fact that she covered for august i don't think that she did it for him she did it mostly for herself because she was like maybe it's just a phase considering the fact that it's an all boys school maybe he just needs to get his desires out and that's why he thinks that he likes men but maybe it will change completely or maybe his opinion will change considering the fact that he will start to care more about the monarchy and about his duties and he will like just ignore the fact that he has feelings for men and do what needs to be done for the royal family and the fact that he was like nope sorry can't do that i have respect for this man and that's another thing that i want to add out here with simon before I start this episode, I liked what they did because Simon was like, I'm sorry, I don't want to be your secret in season one at the ending when Wilhelm didn't tell the people that it was him in the video that was leaked. And in season two, it was this entire struggle back and forth. You feel embarrassed of me. You don't want to be with me. Like, as in... Wilhelm, in a certain sense, making Simon feel that he, Wilhelm is embarrassed of Simon. And that's why he can't be honest about his feelings and about who he likes. So there has been the struggle back and forth in the second season. And that struggle wasn't capable to, like, separate these two. Like, the love between these two is too strong. So the fact that at the end of season two... Simon went to Wilhelm and he was like, if this has to be a secret, then it will have to be a secret, but I can't stay away from you. And Wilhelm then actually saying that it was him in the video was the most beautiful metaphor ever. Because in season one, he was like, I'm sorry, I can't say it. And Simon was like, I'm sorry, I can't be with you if you can't be honest about who you like if i have to be a secret i don't want that as in it was simon putting himself first in the second season at the end he was like the love i have for you is so strong i can't do anything but to give in to your terms and allowing you to keep me as your secret and the fact that wilhelm took that observation and then announced that it was him in the video it was like Wilhelm having in his head he loves me that much that he was willing to step down as in he was willing 
to let me control the turf, we move on. He was willing to let me control the situation and the outcome, as in he loves me that much. So I think it's time for me to show how much I love him, as in that he's not the only one that sacrifices something in this relationship. So he was like, it was me in the video, as in you are willing to back off and let me control the situation and the outcome of it. And I'm going to show everyone, including you, that I'm not afraid to let everyone know that I love you. As in, that was Wilhelm saying, Simon was willing to back down for me, but he doesn't have to. Like, it's my time now to put his needs over mine. Because Simon has been the one literally saying, it's fine, you control the situation. As in, you can put your needs over mine. And this time, it was Wilhelm saying, nope, this time it's on Simon's terms. And I love that so much. But we will see how this season is gonna go, because I don't think that the royal family is gonna be that pleasant <laughs> to be around right now. But we will see. If you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe. For the full uncut reaction, you can check out my Patreon. The link is in my description box below. And without further ado... I regret nothing. <laughs> She's not even looking at him, see? She did that for herself. I keep on saying it. She wanted him to keep quiet because of herself. And that's why she is not looking at him right now. Pills? Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Y'all, the episode hasn't even started yet and I already have something to criticize. <laughs> Not about the show, but like about the mom. Like you can actually see it right here. You can see it right here. The mom never wanted this. She never wanted this man to be gay. You can literally just see it in her reaction. She told him not to come out. And she like placed it as in trying to be the good mom. And she's like, yeah, I didn't want you to come out because it wouldn't have been on your terms. Because it would have been kind of like forcing you to come out because of that video. So she wanted him to deny it. But right here, after he came out and admitted that it was him in the video with Simon... You can see the mom's reaction now. She's not even looking at him. So that means she is disappointed in this man's actions. Because she expected him to do as she said. Keeping quiet until he's 18. Hoping that he would value his role as the crown prince more. Meaning that he would put the weight more onto the legacy of the royal family. Rather than him putting weight on himself and what would make him happy. She was hoping that because you can actually see it. And the fact that Wilhelm actually right now hurt. I forgot his name but like the guy next to his mom asking if she took the pills. In my eyes, I mean I could interpret it wrong. But the fact that she was trembling and he took her hands. Maybe after she found out that Wilhelm was gay, she started to have anxiety attacks because, like I said, homophobic. She didn't want him to be gay. So she started to have those anxiety attacks just thinking about it and knowing that her son is gay. And she started to have those anxiety attacks and she started to take those pills in order like to calm down those pills maybe were supposed to like help her digest the news of her son being gay better because that's the only thing that i can imagine right now seeing this entire scene here him coming out the mom not being capable to look at him her hands trembling and the guy next to him asking if she took the pills she is not looking upright she's literally looking very tense and very in a certain sense from one side frustrated and from the other side she's just done she just wants to lay down and not hear or see anyone and him hearing it he's gonna feel even worse him because he cares the mother though does not care about making Wilhelm feel miserable about himself just for showing who he truly is and for him being proud of who he is and standing up for the man he loves like 
she didn't want him to go out because she couldn't accept the fact and she couldn't or didn't even want to accept that he is gay. So this was more for her. Him keeping quiet was more for her, not for him. So after he was like, I'm sorry, mama, I need to be honest about how I feel because I love this man and I don't want to lose him. She's now behaving like this because this is him announcing that he's gay and all the paparazzi like having the videos, the videos going viral. Now them also having to invite Simon and his mom makes the reality of the situation sink in even more to her. And she doesn't want to accept the fact that he's gay and she doesn't even want to have those conversations. And what hurts me the most is that Wilhelm is actually realizing. Oh, poor. Oh. I wouldn't want to be here either. I would just want to, like, pack my things and leave. Look at them. They're both so uncomfortable. Förslag på ersättning till de båda målsägande. Med det sagt så vill jag understryka att min klient offrar otroligt mycket genom att ingå denna förlikning. Hold up. <laughs> I actually thought I oh, that was something I probably forgot. Like I remember vaguely that August's father is dead. He didn't want to sell his stuff because he said that makes part of his legacy. Right now, seeing August and that man, I thought that that man was his father. And them literally pulling him there as well because Sara did just tell the police about what he did. So he will need an advocate. And <laughs> I, th I thought that that was his father, but no, it's his advocate. <laughs> because he literally is like my client. He would like to do a compensation. No, no, no. Uh, baby. He actually outed them. And the royal palace tried to cover this man's ass. So this entire situation is only because of Sara. Because Sara told the police about what he did. This entire situation is just because of what this man did. And not the fact that Wilhelm told the entire world that these two are together. This is hilarious. Well, sir, you gave Sara power. That's what your ugly ass gets after outing them. That's what your ugly ass gets. You gave the woman your heart and that woman literally trampled on it after seeing that you are damaged beyond repair. That's just karma. I love it. This entire situation is just <laughs> to be capable to shit on August. Oh, yes. Was the princess Tal come Nordis Mostans Royal Safety Bjarstad or Brenda Pride Flagor? Folk ringer me nothing. Yeah, we tore in court pals. A break? For her wanting justice for her son, they need a break. Oh, you little bastards. You are some damn piece of shit. You are some damn piece of shit. That? I think I'd say, ibland kan det bara vara skönt att acceptera att man är en liten pissmänniska ibland. Yes. Absolut inte. Of course he has to say that. He's getting paid by you. Jag flyttat inte till Sverige för att mina barn skulle lära sig ta emot motor. Y'all, I've already been recording for 30 minutes and I am still here. I haven't even watched five minutes of this. If there's something I hate, it's injustices. You cannot tell me that just because this man has a name to him, that he literally can do whatever the hell he wants. How much I hate this for the people, like I said, for the people like that want my opinion about the society and about the injustices. You can literally watch my not me reactions. I've been talking about that literally every single episode. Now coming to this, if there's something I hate, it's when shitty people get away with everything in life. Literally, Simon did nothing. He literally fell in love. That's the only thing he did. And they're actually trying to make this seem that they're in the wrong for having fallen in love. Simon literally just fell in love with Wilhelm and Wilhelm reciprocated his feelings. They are the good people in this story. How come that this little bitch of an advocate is trying to turn this around like it's their fault for having not been careful enough? 
Who the fuck told August to stay there and record them? This was an intimate moment. And because this man wasn't happy with his life, and literally, Wilhelm only, that was like the only thing that this man did. He was standing up for Simon back then. And that's why he exposed the fact that this man can't pay for staying at the school. August wanted to blame Simon for the drugs, even though he asked for the drugs. And he's still taking the medicine that is for ADHD patients. Like, Zara has ADHD. She has the medicine, and he literally took her medicine. Because he has the feeling that if he doesn't dope, he's not going to do well. That's like his problem. Those are his demons. They have nothing to do with it. Wilhelm was only standing up for Simon because he was like, you wanted those drugs. You wanted that damn medicine in order to dope or in order to get like a rush. That was your thing. You asked him to get it and now you're gonna blame him because he got you the things that you wanted. August, because he's such a little bitch, was like, this is the perfect opportunity to out them. First off, he had no right to do that. Second off, how low did we fall? Where people, just because they have money, they're someone. And if you don't have money, you're no one. Like, 1.2 million crowns, it's a lot of money. But I'm not gonna be bribed. We're gonna ignore the actor's age. They were minors. This is illegal. And this man literally got the best advocate in town in order to get this man's plate wiped clean. What is wrong with society? How low did we fall where people that are in the wrong have more out of the entire situation than you, even if you're right? How low did we fall? This man literally just wants justice because August had no right to do what he did. So he just wants justice. And this man doesn't have anything other to give but money. He's actually trying to bribe him in order to keep quiet because he doesn't want this to get to court. Why doesn't he want this to go to court? August does have the best advocate in town, but if this goes to court, that means more negative publicity for the royal household. So that's why they don't want it to go there. That's why he's trying to bribe them. But this will not mean that anything is good, even if Simon should accept. We're just gonna go with this possibility here, even if Simon should accept the bribe. It's not going to make a huge ass difference. He will still not have the same spot in the royal household. Negative publicity has been made. And this man still lost everything. Like the entire royal household is looking at him with the evil eye. Because that's exactly what this man deserves. And this man actually sitting on the couch and asking his advocate if he's a shitty person. Bitch, what is wrong with your head? Yes, you are a shitty person. Sara, literally, the second worst character in the show. No shade to the actress, but shade on the character. She's literally the worst after August because she knew what he did to her brother and she couldn't do anything but to go along. She knew what he did and she still was like, okay, give me a good place in the school. Let me screw you a few times and maybe I'll be capable to look past it. She didn't take... Simon's feelings into consideration. And she literally, even her, the second worst character in this show, even she dumped his ass. And he's still questioning if he's a bad person. Yes, you are a bad person. Like I said, even if you should accept the bribe, even if you should accept the bribe, he will still not have the same relationship with the royal household because this man fucked up. He fucked up. And the fact that he's still trying... Not to actually accept his wrongdoings, but him getting the best advocate in town in order to get him out of the situation just shows that he still hasn't learned shit. He still hasn't learned. And he's still asking if something is wrong. He's still asking if he did something wrong. What is wrong with this man? Y'all... Går för att betala. Och det är det värsta straffet som August kan få. No, it's not. This is not the best. This is not the best punishment for this man. Because punishment is only good when it actually hurts. Money doesn't seem to hurt this man anymore. He's not willing to accept that this man fucked up. If he can't accept it, then that's... Still not him having learned his lesson. I didn't really think I had dreamt about it. 
Jag har drömt att det ska vara. You're coming in in the middle of the night, not being capable to resist your desires, stripping him naked, everything. Yes, <laughs> let them know that you are not afraid. You're not afraid to use the opportunities life has given you. Stop staring at each other like that, I can concentrate. I mean, Simon was provoking. He was provoking him. What is that? It didn't drop. No. <laughs> it's much more beautiful. Perry. <laughs> Predictable. <laughs> Predictable. Because this is actually real. Back then, he was only imagining what he lost and what he wants. Please have a seat. Stop smiling at each other. It's like let me just. Och vi en försäkring från kungahuset att August får en officiell titel som nästa. Oh hell no! Ah ah. Om du tror att jag kommer låta dig ta över så kan du glömma det. Du behöver inte låta mig ta över. Med ditt track record så kommer du lyckas att fucka upp allt helt på egen hand. Okay, smack him. Oh, just smack him. Slå folk på chefet. Ja, vet du vad? Du är en äcklig. Sluta! Ma'am, this is the problem. You all need therapy. You all need fucking therapy. Nope. Mm -mm. I need to add a small thing here before I can continue. If there's something I hate, it's people like this. I did say it back then. The problem here, mostly, that August doesn't have fucking balls. He doesn't have the fucking balls to admit that he was wrong and to take the blame for his actions. If he would... Maybe, maybe, but that would be up to the royal household, but especially this would be up for Wilhelm and Simon to decide if they forgive him. If he would accept his wrongdoings, he's trying to bribe them with money. He's still not willing to grow the fucking balls and to accept that it was his fault in the beginning. It was his fault to begin with. He wanted in order to like seem like the perfect cousin... He went up to Simon and he was like, if you give me the drugs, I will let you come to the party. This was like him hoping that he could like get Wilhelm to be like happy with him and getting cozy with this man. As in him having a nice relationship with Wilhelm because he had a good relationship with his brother Eric. But at the end of the day, he still did that. He wanted the drugs so desperately that he even went to Sara in order to get them. Simon was like, this is between the both of us. I got you the boost that you wanted, so you stay away from my sister. And he was like, I know that you have the pills, so get me the pills. Because of him. He wanted those drugs. And he was like, considering the fact that he doesn't have any money, he was like, why not? I'm giving you the drugs because I know you will pay me. But this man didn't have any money. He wasn't willing to pay. So... No money for him, but the drugs were already gone. And Wilhelm taking the drugs, that was bringing them to the table instead of selling them like Simon wanted. He was taking the drugs too. Now this man is actually trying to spin this around and he's still not willing to take blame for his actions. This is the big elephant in the room. Ugh, sometimes I'm wondering how it's possible for a human to be that stupid? Sorry. That naive, like that delusional. That they literally cannot see the full picture here. This man only sees the fact that his image was ruined. And in order for his image to be wiped clean, he needs to pay. That's not what's gonna get him there. Like he's willing to sell literally everything. Even his own clothing. But not to accept that he was wrong. Like, this is some next level of being stubborn. And he has the delusion that if they are all silent about what this bitch did, that he will sooner or later be capable to still be a welcoming member in the family. He won't. 
And the stupid thing is that he thinks that he can silence everyone with money. He will never ever be part of that family. Because the elephant in the room is and remains exactly that. He does not want to accept that all of this is his fault. Like all of the accusations that are, were coming from Wilhelm were horrible moments that August initiated. He like brought the problem then there to Wilhelm and he was like, Eric trusted him so I can trust him too. Boy, was he wrong, but we're gonna ignore that. And like every single accusation that Wilhelm threw at him, August threw it back to him. He does not see the fact that this man fucked up. He does not want to own up to his mistakes. And that literally shows that he is a child. How can they actually say that this man can be next in line with how childish this man is? He doesn't have the balls to accept his wrongdoings. But this is August's funeral. This is August's funeral. I can't say anything about that. It's August. Willem, I crave not that you should forgive August. Can you come over after me? Understand that? Yes, ma'am. I love you. Shut up! Who's talking to you? This woman. What is wrong with you? This this woman is about to fall down. She has she has a panic attack. Vi kan kalla det för en sorts kronprinsskola så att du kan ta igen allting som du inte har förberedas på. More things that you want me to learn. Just let this man breathe. <laughs> Me too. That was literally what I hated to see the most. Kissa i den här. Ha? Tror att jag knarkar? Jag rörde inte de där tabletterna själv. Och du har utgångsförbud. Nästa nät är minen. Excuse you? What's wrong with you? Oh, so it's just his fault, but not her fault? Just him? What about your daughter? She no, fucked up no, more than no, he no, did. Can you just not be here? Snälla, you have destroyed my life, and now I'm going to be destroyed in my fucking home. Just leave, like girl. I'm completely on his side of things. Like you can't expect for this man to act any different toward you. You literally d dug your own grave. I just love this. And everyone literally staring. Give them their free time. Leave them be. I love them. I love them. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> I love them. I have said to them that both the crown prince and your boy can. Exactly. You can leave. Bye. Min etta, kanske. Frågan är ju bara vem du ska köra på om det är Felice eller Sara. Två bästisar. Alltså det är jävla fuckboy move alltså. Oh, that. Mm. But it's true sir. That's what you do. You're a fuck a person. They're just all douches. I don't understand why. And you don't need to be acting all depressed girl. This is a situation you put on yourself. There's no reason for you to just sit here and look all depressed like this is your fault. This is your doing. Jag är så jävla arg på mig. Jävla vänster så saknar det samtidigt. Hur kommer man över sin bästa vän? You just have to accept that things happened. Nej, men det är inte kul att läsa att jag är en typisk latino lover som hoppar mellan pojkvänner eller att jag är en jag menar gold digger som förvirrar prinsen. Jag tror att det är bättre att jag bara har koll själv och svara på vissa kommentarer och ha kontroll. So no, sir. You answering to that is only gonna add to the shit storm, because it's like you being triggered by what they write, so you feel the need to add something because it's actually touching you personally. He cares too much about what people think of him, so he can't ignore it. But it would be better for him if he ignores it. That's the problem. What did you wish If I had dated someone here, I wonder how far I'm fucking handled all. Sir, but you're not him. You won't be capable to deal with it like he does because you're a different person. I would just lay it on the bed or like push it under the room door. I wouldn't want a doctor, I'm sorry. Like she needs to repent for her sins. <laughs> she's not in there, but she strangely wasn't. 
punished for all the bullshit she pulled. <laughs> De var tvungna att dricka varandras spott och alla tvingades klara av sig. Sedan satt det sig gay på en film på en tv. Den som fick stånd pickades ut under hånskratt. All right, yeah, <laughs> I needed to point something out here. I'm sorry, that's just the normal thing in my eyes. If you have the feeling that what you're doing is right, as in, I mean, they didn't make him strip naked, but they actually made him drink spit. They, they made him take drugs. They made him drink alcohol. Like, they were like that bad influence for Wilhelm when he got there. If you think... Literally, I'm just gonna put this as that group, okay? If you think that what you're doing is okay, why are you afraid for it to come out? And now, after that article is actually talking about all that disgusting stuff that they pulled behind closed doors, why do they feel embarrassed? Because they know! Sometimes I feel like we human beings just do stuff without actually thinking about it. We're just working with our brain cells completely turned off. We're not actually realizing the shit we're doing until someone is actually pointing it out to us. Literally reading all the disgusting stuff that they did makes them feel insanely embarrassed. Because actually seeing all the horrible stuff piled up together in that one article is making them feel very embarrassed because they know that it's a fucked up thing to do. They literally have just been reminded of how awful and disgusting they were behaving back then. All their actions being brought up to the light by the media is making them feel embarrassed because they know that what they did was disgusting. And now they feel embarrassed. Strange. Back in the day when they actually did the initiation and made Wilhelm drink spit, they didn't seem to worry that much about that because they were like, yeah, we're not doing anything wrong. Like, this is how the initiation with us works. So nothing wrong to do here. Now, actually having this article and having the article piling up every single disgusting thing that they did is making them feel embarrassed. As they should. You should feel embarrassed because... That initiation was something else. Like, I was actually... <laughs> I was almost vomiting when I saw that scene. Like, that scene was just disgusting. So you feeling embarrassed for your own actions is exactly what you're sorry as get. <laughs> Sirs, if you didn't want something horrible to happen, don't do awful shit. This is always what happens. People blaming the person that actually did nothing but to stand up for himself. They're all being blamed for the shit they do, and then it's always his fault. Bestämt att det är dags att ta i med hårdhandskarna. Han är schemat på träffas utanför sitt elevhem. Efter det att utgångsförbudet trätt i kraft så kommer det leda till omedelbar avstängning. Det gör väl inte oss tre år? To every single one? Yes! Även de media. I'm saying karma for your sorry ass. What? What you looking at him for? This is your bullshit. I mean, bitch, that's what you all did with your fucking initiation. Y'all, I just love the hypocrisy. I just do. Like, this little bitch looking at Wilhelm as if he would have done that stupid shit. Like, it was always the third graders that did the preparations and how someone passes the initiation in order to be part of that damn group. Once a brother, always a brother. Like, it was the third graders that actually took Wilhelm and made them drink his spit, etc. Like, they blindfolded him, etc. Like, this is all their fault. Like, if you didn't think that what you're doing is wrong, why do you feel embarrassed now and enraged? They're all, like, pinpointed at Wilhelm. Like, if they wouldn't have done some stupid-ass shit with their stupid initiation games, then the media wouldn't have brought it out. Like, this is nothing but their own fault. And I just love people that are mad at others when they should be mad at themselves. Because the third graders were the ones thinking of the initiation. It's like welcoming the fresh meat into school life. Like, this was their fault, and they're looking at Wilhelm because he literally just said that he's gay. I can't. Like, I'm sorry. It's the hypocrisy for me. But 
we will see what next episode is gonna be like. This was like a banger, I'm sorry. And it also got me enraged already. So I'm intrigued to know what next episode is gonna be like. I'm, I just want someone to whoop Sadas and August's ass. I just do. Someone needs to whoop them. I'm sorry. And considering the fact that Wilhelm's mom had a panic attack, like, don't think that I'm, like, unemotional or something. Like, I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. Doesn't change the fact that she's a homophobe, though. Like, if you don't think that something is a problem, you won't th think of it as a problem. As in, as another pile that you need to solve. If she wouldn't be a homophobe, the fact that he actually said that he is gay wouldn't have impacted her so much that she her anxiety attacks become even more powerful. Like the fact that she maybe has panic attacks or anxiety attacks because she's still not over her son's death. Okay, that I can understand. But the fact that we didn't see those panic attacks before Wilhelm came out to the media just shows that she sees this as another pile that she needs to sort out. And the problem here is that she still doesn't understand that there is nothing to sort out. He came out. This is his turn. He decided to do that. So the fact that she sees this as a problem just shows that she's a homophobe. But like I said, I hope she's okay. Like, uh, that wasn't a nice thing to watch. I feel bad for her. I really hope she's okay. But we will see what next episode is gonna bring us. I hope you enjoyed this video with me. Tell me in the comments below what you think was best and I will see you in another video.